This way. Here we go, says so seats by oh, David here. Yeah. Together? I thought we were in both four. Oh. oh. to welcome you both here. Now I know it means a great deal to them both that you can all be here to share in their happiness and to witness their marriage vows. So my name is Nicola. Now it's my pleasure to conduct your marriage ceremony today. And you've met my colleague Nat. She's going to register your wedding and issue you with your marriage certificate. So this place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. This ceremony will unite Graham and Julie in marriage. Now I've got a very important question to ask you both. If there's any person present who knows of any lawful reason why Graham and Julie may not be joined in matrimony, now is the time to declare it. I think we're okay. So before you are joined in marriage, I have to remind you of the solemn and legally binding commitment that you're about to take. Marriage according to the law of this country is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. Now that's the legal bit. But as we all know, the real purpose of marriage is that you may always love, care and support each other through both the joys and sorrows of life. And today you will exchange vows of marriage and wedding rings and will be known to all as husband and wife. I'm now going to ask you each in turn to declare that you know of no legal reason why you should not be joined together in marriage. So Graham, you first, if you could repeat after me. Okay. I declare. I declare. That I know. That I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Graham Peter Thomas. Why I, Graham Peter Thomas. May not be joined. May not be joined. In marriage. In marriage. To Julie Ann Caudle. To Julie Ann Caudle. I declare. I declare. That I know. That I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Julie Ann Caudle. Why I, Julie Ann Caudle. May not be joined. May not be joined. In marriage. In marriage. To Graham Peter Thomas. To Graham Peter Thomas. Now, the institution of marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily, and with the full and unreserved consent of you both. Therefore, Graham, do you take Julie to be your wife? I do. And Julie, do you take Graham to be your husband? I do. So, ladies, the time has come for Graham and Julie to contract their marriage. So to honour this commitment, I'd like you both to stand. If you want to stand, you haven't got to. Right. So repeat after me now, Graham, okay? So I, Graham Peter Thomas. I, Graham Peter Thomas. Take you, Julie Ann Caudle. Take you, Julie Ann Caudle. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And Julie, repeat after me. I, Julie Ann Caudle. I, Julie Ann Caudle. Take you, Graham Peter Thomas. Take you, Graham Peter Thomas. To be my wedded husband. Be my wedded husband. So we now come to the exchange of wedding rings. Now the wedding ring is an ancient and traditional way of sealing your marriage contract. And it's an unbroken circle. And it symbolises unending and everlasting love. And it's the outward sign of the lifelong promises that you're making to one another on your wedding day. So Graham, if you could... Got Julie's wedding ring? Yeah. So third finger of the left hand and repeat after me Julie I give you this ring Julie I give you this ring as a symbol as a symbol of our marriage of our marriage all that I am all that I am I give to you I give to you all that I have all that I have I share with you I share with you for the whole of our life together for the whole of our life together push the red ring away Julie, if you could take Graham's wedding ring. So third finger of the left hand and repeat after me. Graham, I give you this ring. Graham, I give you this ring. As a symbol. 
to this season of our marriage for a man. All that I am, Lord, to I am. I give to you, I give to you. All that I have, all that I have, I share with you, I share for the whole of our life together, for the whole of our life. Push the way in your own life. Carry on holding hands. Start your married life holding hands. That's lovely. So Graham and Julie, you've both made the declarations required by the laws of this country. You've sealed your marriage vows with the giving and receiving of wedding rings. I'm delighted to tell you both that you are now husband and wife. Kissing the wife. Congratulations. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Right. So... Mr. and Mrs. are going to sign the register now, okay? So if you want to take a seat, you're more than welcome to. Nat's going to bring the register over. I need you to both check everything, okay?